Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Bodega Jones, and I'm bringing you guys another Alpha Grip video. This time for the Air Jordan 185 Neutral Gray. Now, sadly, I missed out on these, and man, does that L still sting on these a lot. But I'm gonna give you guys some outfit ideas and inspiration for outfits I would have worn if I did manage to uh, if I did manage to get them. Some what could have been if I did get them. Says, man, I wish I caught these. But hopefully these are my ideas and I hope it gives inspiration to you guys to make your own outfits. And as always, links to all individual pieces will be linked down in the description in case you guys wanna pick up anything for yourselves. And one last thing before I get started, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like on and click the subscribe button for our videos. It really helps on the grow a lot, and we're so close to 50 subscribers, I can, I can almost taste it. And now we're all that out of the way, let's get into the first outfit. So for the first outfit, I went with a cozy by fit. Since it's still cold as fuck out here in Jersey, fuck that groundhog, yo. I'm six more weeks of winter my ass, I'm tired of the cold. I, I, I blame his ass. Fuck his, whatever his name is. Yeah, this guy right here. Screw him. But this outfit for those light chilly days where you want to stay comfortable but also want to stay warm as well. And bomb, and first things first, we have the Air Jordan 1 and 2 grades right here. And for a pair of bombs, I went to these Nike Sports for a Fleece Club joggers and they got like the Jake color. I picked these in particular because I like the color a lot and I feel like the darker shades of green work well with the white and gray in the sneaker because it complements very well with each other. But if you want to go with a darker pair of joggers, that could work as well. As for a sweatshirt, I'm wearing this Nike Sports Red Club Fleece hoodie in a charcoal heather gray color and keep it a buck. Everyone owns or has owned a hoodie or a pair of sweats in this color. But I chose this one in particular because I figured the gray on the sneaker matches well with the charcoal heather pretty well. And that's also because I appreciate the color that most people will have in their closets anyway. And lastly for accessory, I found this uh, tag mini from Hops in tan colorway. I like it a lot and I feel that it matches well with the green and the joggers and makes up like Let's put the outfit together. I like this outfit a lot because it has too many sorts of colors that I had in the joggers so it breaks in between, so it doesn't really do too much. I like it a lot. For a second outfit, I was like, hmm, I want to make an autumn season centric outfit, but how do I make it where I look like a hype beast sneakerhead in a background character from the movie Halloween Town? It's like, now I'm kidding, but I will be lying if I didn't say after making this outfit, I was like, hmm, I kind of went crazy with the fall colors on this, but it's still a good outfit in my opinion. So for the pants, I chose this pair of orange D212 denim for minimal. And I already know I'm using up with this already. Hear me out. I ch only chose the orange because I like, orange and gray work well with each other already. And plus, like, I didn't want to put a basic all oh, black denim, black jar, uh, black jeans, black blue denim. I was like, I have to try to add some color to this outfit. And orange and gray work well together. And plus, the gray from the sneakers help you tone down the pants a lot. Compared to if you were wearing it, maybe like a pair of J Balvin, then you'd be like a walking skills commercial. But, the neutral gray and the orange rubber together, where what is it? It accentuates, but also tones down if you give up, if you catch me through. For sure, I went with this oversized crew neck t shirt from Uniqlo, and I thought the looser fit would work better since the pants aren't skinny fit, they're more of a looser taper fit. And I thought that having taper pants, like skinny pants, with a looser fit shirt, which would be weird, and also vice versa. I wouldn't want to have like a tight t shirt while I like wearing baggy jeans. I thought it would look weird. But a simple plain navy t-shirt that goes well with sneakers. And lastly for the final piece, I'll show this Colorado shirt from AOS, ASOS in the rust colorway. And this is my favorite piece of the outfit, mainly because of the color and also because of the rust matches well with the orange from the pants. And it gives it just a full fall vibe. The colors match correctly, like, compared to the first outfit, again, I really like the outfit a lot. I know when I first made it, I would like, Halloween Town, Halloween, 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 <laughs> fucking, oh, what song was that, like, that was, that was from the, um, What Time To Be Alive album, Halloween, Halloween, I, I forgot what song it was, but, Halloween outfit, I think it's great, let me know how you guys, uh, how you guys feel about this, and now for outfit number three, this is basically a full on carbon copy of outfit number two, just change the season from autumn to spring, but the pants, I mean, it's a Robert, uh, Zip 3D straight taper pants from G-Star. Gray and white already go well together with tan and sand color, so this was an obvious pattern to go with. And plus, I always like to tamper the pants because it helps show us more of the sneakers compared to previous outfits where the joggers and uh, the mineral pants, they were not skinny, they were tapered, but it's not a little feel. It's like, it'll cover the pants a little bit, but with these pants, the, uh, the suits are being fully shown off. And as for a t-shirt, I started with a regular fake crewneck t-shirt from Uniqlo in dark brown. And I chose this color mainly because I thought it would go well with a pink corduroy flannel that I found from the ASOS. And I wasn't lying when I told you this is a full-on carbon copy from outfit number two. This full-on switch of colors around from autumn to spring colors. Now, if you ask me which one I like more, outfit two, outfit three, 
I would say I like offer two more because the pants and the shirt, again, I really like the rust color corduroy uh, flannel. But the pants, just because you don't really see orange pants that much, I just like it a lot. But outfit number three is always a really good, even if you want a simple spring fit. And now for our last outfit, outfit number four, I went for an early summer fit. You know during a time or like late spring or early summer where it's still acceptable to wear jeans and people don't look at you like crazy. For the bottom, I chose totally these 512 Levi uh, slim taper pants because they allow for more room in the, in the diary if you're a bigger guy like me, but also give you a great taper so that help you accentuate and show off the shoes more. And as for a top, you can wear any lightweight yellow or gold colored t-shirt since they can be the most color in the outfit to give you the pop of the, pop of the fit. And you also get to block the sun. So for a final accessory piece, I chose with this mint colored cap from the North Face that I found online. I mean, I like the color. I really find much as in the color that I really like that much. But the North Face one was pretty good, so I picked this one. But those are just some outfits that I would have wore romantic up the sneakers. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys would style these yourselves. Remember to leave a like on the video and to subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials at Bodega George on Twitter and Instagram. Peace, love, positivity. Until next time, I'm Bodega and I'm out. Peace.